Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I realise that it's not Wednesday today, but I thought that I would bring you this little video with some witch news that we have that has come out in just the last couple of days. Um, I do have like a main video going up on Wednesday, so I figured to not mess up the, uh, the what YouTube pushes to you, I would upload this one on a different day so it doesn't get a bit messed up and, and hidden because this is very interesting news and I wanted to bring it to you. So, this information is coming uh, from Krona Chedi Witch, which is a uh, Instagram page that provides uh, news and information about witch. They are a really great resource. Um, the admin has done interviews with people who are actually in the production of witch, so they have really good information and it comes direct from the source, so you know that it is legit and you can trust it really good resource a uh, really great place to get information and they recently uh did an interview with a lady named veronica de lizio who is the editorial director of disney at gwinty gwinty i believe that's how you pronounce it i might be wrong apologies if it's not uh gwinty is the publishing house that published uh the witch reboot as well as the um 20 years of magic reprint volumes which are absolutely gorgeous i don't have one but i have seriously debated buying them so many times and i'm like no you don't need any more copies of arc one you have so many copies of arc one already you don't need more uh but also they're so pretty and i've i don't know one day i might cave um but she obviously has a lot of information about what's going on at the moment with which uh both with the reboot and the reprints that are coming out and what we do have is information about the second volume of the reboot, which we have all been, you know, interested for a long time now as to whether or not there would be a second volume. There was a bit of confusion because um, Julia, who is one of the artists, had made a tweet where when you translated English, it said it's a unique volume and people kind of took that to mean that there wasn't ever going to be another one. But the writers had said that they were working on a second one. They've been saying that for a while now but that they didn't know whether it was actually going to be approved for publication, whether they were actually going to get the chance to publish it, but they were writing it anyway in the hopes that it would. And we now have confirmation that it is going to come out. It's going to come out later this year. And uh, Veronica has said it will come out in October. Now we do have an interesting thing because it is up on Amazon Italy right now. It does come up as Witch Reboot Volume 2, 25th of September, 2024. So Veronica is saying it's coming out in October, but Amazon is currently suggesting that it will be out on the 25th of September. That could be wrong. It could be, um, you know, inaccurate uh, on the site and maybe it's going to get delayed and it'll come out in October. But at least for now, Amazon is suggesting that it should come out on the 25th of September. And remember that the issue last year, the first volume came out on the 4th of October. So fairly similar release time. Amazon currently has the information as being 128 pages so I think that's about the same length as the previous volume so that'll be good. Other than that we don't have a lot of information though about what is going to be in it. Veronica has said in the interview uh, like the first volume we're going to see a new version of the characters and we're not going to follow the same plot as the original witch but we're going to tell you more between June and July. And of course we are currently in June right now so hopefully we'll get a bit more information coming out soon which will be really good. Um, I'm personally really excited for this. Uh, I liked the reboot. I know that there were kind of mixed opinions about the reboot but personally I really enjoyed it and I'm excited to see what happens next. I hope we get to find out more about Elyon and Meridian. We get to hopefully see the Guardians use their powers a bit more because you know one of the, the criticisms I did have with the first volume is that we only really got to see Will getting to use our powers and the other guardians only really got like a couple of pages near the end where we got to see them utilize their new guardian powers so hopefully we're going to see more of that and honestly i'm just looking forward to seeing what comes next you know i'm i'm really interested so i'm looking forward to this some other information that came out of this interview with veronica um uh, the admin of chrono Chetty witch asked about publication of the reboot in other countries and she said the choice of publishing abroad is not up to Gwenty but for now there's no new news of publishing in other countries. So we do know that um, the first volume of the reboot released obviously in Italy, it also released in France and Poland 
um, translated for those countries, but there was not any English release. It hasn't been released in any country in English. Um, and by the sounds of it, you know, that's because there was no English language translation public publisher that picked it up. No one wanted to publish this. No one wanted to do an English translation and publish it. So that's a shame, but, uh, you know, nothing really we can do about that that's just where we're at right now maybe change you know it might change but at the moment it's sounding as if there isn't any uh sign of a english translation coming out there's also some information about those 20 years of witch publications they did seem to have come to a bit of a halt but veronica confirmed that they are going to be publishing more they'd only really paused because they were getting the reboot published but the sixth book is going to release on the 26th of june and the seventh one should arrive at the beginning of 2025 so that's good to see that those books are still coming out because like i said they're really pretty and um she says we definitely want to keep reprinting we're not setting a limit but we wouldn't want to leave things unfinished so that's good um I mean, we all know that we got burned quite badly with the Yen Press reprints. Uh, they did definitely get left unfinished. So who knows, maybe the 20 Years of um, Magic volumes will actually manage to cover the entire series. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Um, she's also said that they are thinking about reprinting the special issues. They don't have it planned, but they are hoping to do so. So that's really exciting because that was something as well that Yen Press never did. They never republished any of the specials. Um, Obviously, the, the 20 Years of Witch volumes are in Italian, so if you don't want a copy that's in Italian, then you're sort of out of luck. But they are there and you'll be able to look at the pictures. So, <laughs> And like I say, they are very pretty. So that's, you know, it's good to know that they've, they've got that idea on the horizon. And the last piece of really interesting information to come out of this interview is that um, she said that they are already thinking of something special for the 25th anniversary of Witch. Now, Witch uh, came out in... 2001 so the 25th anniversary would be 2026 um i believe which first started in april of 2001 if i can remember right so if we were going like for um the actual like month when it would be the 25th anniversary we're looking at 20 april 2026 so that's also very interesting because you know i would love to see something like that you know we obviously these editions are the 20 years of uh, magic editions these were the 20th anniversary thing but the idea of doing something special for the 25th anniversary is very exciting and i would love to see what that would be um and other than that she said that uh they they do want to do other publications she says they'd love to make a deluxe version maybe for christmas and a bigger size with unpublished content but it really just comes down to you know what they can and can't do you know what they have the resources to produce you you are at the mercy of, of disney with these things because going to the public uh, publisher the publication house but they don't own which they are not the the ip holder of which that's obviously disney so again you, they do need to to you know work with disney to get these things out but this is all very positive news, I feel, um, and hopefully that means that in the next couple of months we're going to be seeing some more information from that new edition, the, the second volume of the reboot. Hopefully we'll get some more pages and I will be here to dive into them like I did with the first issue. I, I you know, I really enjoyed getting to, to, to look at everything that was being released and really follow it on its journey to publication so I am really excited and I will be here to bring you all of the news that we have about the second volume and uh, when it comes out hopefully I can give you a video where I will dive into everything that we get but that's obviously still a few months away we're only in June and that's October but this year is truly speeding along at a, a, a velocity that is giving me existential anxiety so <laughs> i'm sure it'll be october before we know it uh but thank you for watching thank you for coming along with me and i will see you in whatever i post next let me know in the comments if you're excited for the second volume and i will see you soon bye everyone